Tuesday. We hope everyone's day is off to a magical start. Welcome to Disney on a Dime. Um, today's topic uh, here on the channel is going to be a little bit different. And speaking of different, Eric, can you enlighten us on why it is you're wearing sunglasses inside during the video? Well, today's video is around <laughs> about how to keep your cool in Orlando. And I'm not talking about like your body temperature. I'm talking about maintaining a calm, serene, serenity now tone so that you're not So sunglasses do that? Sometimes you, they, they help kind of close out the world. You kind of feel like I'm a little All bit right, more so, isolated. I'm behind my sunglasses. So why do we need to close out the world? Let's, let's tell them what, what has happened here recently. Well, so it's, <laughs> I was, and we weren't, this was an imp impromptu video. We didn't mm -hmm. plan this video. I was reading my local paper, not the Orlando newspaper, the local Atlanta paper. Okay. Here's the headline. Michigan woman allegedly chokes teen for blocking view of fireworks at Disney World. The summary of this story was this lady's 41 years old at Magic Kingdom. There's a group of teens in front of her. Uh -huh. They stand up to watch the fireworks. Uh -huh. They block her view. She tells them to sit down. Uh -huh. I think some type of back and forth banter happened. Mm -hmm. The girl says, you know, the teenager says, you know what, we're going to leave. That's not good enough. The 41 year old lady chokes the teenager mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and says, you don't want to mess with me. It chokes her. 41 year old lady ends up going to Orange County Jail, having to post $2,000 bail. That effectively ruined the trip, the yeah. vacation for her and her family. Yeah, pretty she, bad. She probably won't go to Disney again for a while after that. No. Gosh. You've talked about the optimal number of days at Disney. Now, how do you, how do you think this plays into having an optimal number well, of days? Well, here's here's the thing. Um, you know, we we talked about in that video, and when I leave it up here in the eye in the sky or somewhere uh, in the description below, guys, she obviously took this trip in, in you know, during peak season, spring, spring break. break. Yep. And so what you want to do is, A, if you can, don't go during peak season, okay? And two, <laughs> if you have to a go, two. <laughs> if you have to go during peak season, you're build going to have to build in some days so that you will allow yourself some days to kind of wind down and not be on edge. You know, Disney... You know, it's an experience, but it 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 also, you know, can be a challenge. You yes. know, you're grouped in, you know, in small spaces a lot of times with, you know, different people, and so tempers can begin to flare. So on those days where you just feel like you've just had enough and you yeah. cannot go to the park that day, sit by the pool. Yeah. But in order to do that, you will have had to have built in enough days, day. enough days in your vacation so that it is absolutely yeah. feasible. And you have a multi-day pass where you don't feel as if you only have a one day pass, it's uh -huh. hard because you want to do use yeah, that there are two days. Yeah, you want to do um, everything. Yeah. So multi day passes. We've actually and this hasn't happened a lot, but we've like literally gone to Magic Kingdom and stayed for like an hour and said, you know what, it's too crowded. It's to too lie. crowded. When it gets to a point where you can't even walk or yeah. push your stroller through the crowds, it's only going to be a matter of time before you lose it. And if you don't lose it, someone else around <laughs> you is gonna lose it. So Please, guys, go ahead and leave the park. <laughs> and ironically, I remember one day recently we left and mm -hmm. we went to Disney Springs. It ended up having a the magical time. time. A lot of times, time. yeah, it's the unplanned stuff yeah. that brings you closer to your family. So I think having the sunglasses, all right, wearing the sunglasses, I know for me, it helps to hide the, if you have judgy eyes. Yeah, judgy or, eyes, that's what I was thinking of, judgy <laughs> if eyes. If you have those condemning eyes, yeah. or you have those, you know, don't try me right now eyes. If you are wearing your sunglasses, some of that kind of get def gets deflected, you know? Yeah. You don't kind of pass that off onto the other person who's it, who it is intended yeah. for. And, you know, you kind of can kind of go into yourself almost and kind of calm yourself down. Also, having your cell phone yeah, these days on your phone. is also yeah. a great tool to kind of you know I'm not gonna look over there yeah. at this individual who just hopped in front of me in line I'm just gonna continue to play Candy Crush and not worry about them if they want to skip in line just let them go ahead but I'm just gonna calm myself down and also you know <laughs> um, if you've got small children get them a Nintendo DS a PlayStation yeah. portable a PlayStation yeah. Vita whatever they have now the portable gaming systems mm -hmm. are great um, so, and there are certain things that are our pet peeves that we've seen in the parks that we try to ignore. I yeah. think our pet peeves, so you talked about people jumping in line. Yeah, people jumping in line. What about like the large groups that go into the park and like just start chanting? You know, and, and listen, I'm not trying to tell anyone how to, you know, 
um, experience the Disney magic or to have fun. When the pixie dust hits <laughs> you, you know, a lot of us, we just want to let loose. Hey. But just let's be respectful to one another. You know, let's say if you're in a small queue, you know, you're waiting on the, you know, in the Haunted Mansion queue, it can be kind of tight. Or, you know, in the Big Thunder Mountain queue, you know, when you get down on that little ramp, you know, let's not start singing and, and chanting real loud, playing <laughs> patty cake. You know, your group has about 30 members. Yeah, you, you know, do some large You know, let, let's not do that. You know, yeah. and that way it just kind of keeps down a yeah. lot of, you know, a lot of the fray. A lot of times you see the younger guys, like the teenage guys and the tweens, they start running and jumping and acting like the parks and playground yeah, and running. Yeah. So watch your kids. Yeah. The other thing that's a pet peeve for us, and I'm going to say this as delicately as possible. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Florida is hot, guys. Oh, it's, um, gosh. it's really hot. You know, we're staying in hotels. It's not necessarily our bathroom. So, personal hygiene, you know, I yeah. think some of us let that slip during yeah. vacation. Yeah, and I think, I, you know what, Eric, I'm going to attribute that to the individuals who may do the park hopper passes. Yeah. And, you know, and, you know, in June and July, they may want to go from Magic Kingdom to Epcot. You know, so do you take a shower Kingdom. in between Magic Kingdom and Epcot? Well, here's the thing. You need to, I would hope, make sure you are wearing the strongest, you know, antiperspirant, antiperspirant as, you know, possible. So yeah. that when you're going from park to park, if you are going to get those park hopper passes, you you're don't, not you know, you're not offensive to those people standing in front of you or behind you or around you. And, you and we say this from experience. because This we had has some happened experience. to us before. And I, and I should mention everybody's obviously body chemistry is different. Like you don't sweat. No. So you could go from part to part. Yeah. Me, I sweat. Yeah. I got to go. I got to go. Yeah, take all that sweat is kind yeah. of, you know, yeah. hanging around in your shirt. Yeah. You know, you, you may want to go back to your hotel and just freshen up a little bit. Yeah, we've had some experiences on some rides that were interesting. Yeah. The third thing <laughs> I would say that we see a lot of um, is... A lot of the Disney uh, and Universal res restaurants and parks now serve alcohol. Oh, yeah. And that's great, but you can overdo it. We actually yeah. saw a guy get escorted out of Epcot because yeah. he was drunk and harassing people's yeah. children. Yeah. yeah so. so just watch that, guys. Yeah. Well, that's it, guys. As always, we hope that you found these little tips to be very helpful. This was a different video for us here on Disney on a Dime. Don't forget to share this video, okay? Share this with your friends and your family who are also fans of Disney and just Orlando and, in general. And comment too, if you, we talked about the guy getting thrown out of the park. If you've seen if you've had some experience. foolishness in the park, comment. I'd love to hear your story. Right, yeah. So until next time, don't forget to make every day magical. Bye guys.